Juarez, my friend. Why are you crying? Maddie? Oh, Maddie, they fired me! <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. On. Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Oh, poor spiders. No more demon hard to eat. Hmm. It's still beating. It's good, strong, beating, good heart. Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Hey! Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. That was a dirty trick. 
trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. Gladys, what are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, Manny. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Maro? Huh? Never thought of that. Maybe so. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera! Manny, you promise! Until now, we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we soar. Like eagles. Heh. <laughs> like eagles on... Pogo sticks! What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in. Or are you afraid of heights? What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Okay, the beasts of Black River are blowing bubbles at the bottom. So let's power on through, huh, Glot? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't drive through that. We have to find the key. Híjole. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Glottis to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. the racket the whole town's asleep but i want a drag race when they get a load of my car we're gonna be the talk of the town Pit. you're right we're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show speaking of hiding i wonder if mitch is here already i'm gonna go see what i can stir up not a bad piece of real estate actually it's got potential <laughs> Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? A 
I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubakava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola. Hey Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well. When I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny, 
We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. But don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too! boss. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. Hello, Manny. Hola. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Mechi. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. Well, maybe just a sip. Mind if I sit down, please, Charlie? Please, of course please. not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, hey, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing, anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. <laughs> <laughs> 
We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chilla Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Okay. Tell me all the details about your new code check system. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Hup, no. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you!
this gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha <laughs> ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nothing. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the Limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny. But there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew is on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman Naranj is a little late. But he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Sheesh. I guess so. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. I'd better go finish packing. Aye, you do that, son. Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here. Take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. 
Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers. All laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh, uh the solution it makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but, uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah, forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. But don't you see, when the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la Revolucion. Oh, man. Would you catch mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Max Amino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh. Here they come.
Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Do you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive. We, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some, some rapid, rapid eye movement. movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried. We, we wake. wake. The, the flesh, flesh dream is over, over Daddy. Daddy. Now, now that we're all crazy and dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ch-ah, ah, 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 Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it.